okay power to a power let's go with a few examples so we go to get to the point consider that you have 3 to the 4th power raised to the 5th power hmm a 3 to a 4th power raised to a 5th power what does that mean this is simply saying that you are to take 3 to the 4th times 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 3 to the 4th there are 5 sets of it being multiplied this now gives us 3 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 which is then 3 to a 20th power now is there a rule is there something that can help us solve this much better well yes so for right now this is what you are going to do it we're going to say 3 to a 4 power the fifth fifth power means 3 you keep the base and you take that power which is inside times the outside power which gives us 3 to a 20th power that's our solution in exponent form okay let's try our next example b m to the third power raised to the fourth power this is saying m to the third times m to the third times m to the third times m to the third you will not be showing me all of this step i'm just showing you what 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 is the, what this actually says so this is actually m 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 which is m to the 12th power but in sharp cut if you you're going to say m to the third power raised to a fourth power means keep the base and you multiply their powers which then gives us m to the 12th power this is index form index form okay so is there a general rule a general rule yes there is a general rule so let us write the general rule the general rule for power to a power means for example a base to a power raised to a next power means you keep the base and multiply their powers it gives us a to m n a is just a letter just any number or any um, algebraic let, um, value okay so the rule says so we raise the power of a quantity to a power to a power we multiply their index okay that's all that it says let's try a few examples for this one here so let's try examples so I'm gonna write the the, the instructions as to say simplify each of the following expressions and I'm going to say expressions because we will have letters not all of them will be numbers expressions leaving your answer in index form so that means if I give our values for example as I'm going to do right now if I have 1 2 to the third go open close bracket second if I give you something like this the rule says you keep the base and multiply their powers I want to see this if the steps are to be shown in an in, in assignment this gives us now 2 to the 6 I don't want you to go and put punch this into a calculator and then you get here 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and get the final solution okay because 2 times 2 will give us 4 next one 8 16 32 so would that be correct mm, we have 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 times 2 16 times 2 32 times 2 
which would be 64. So if you punch this into a cal cal calculator, you will, you will get 64. This is not the solution. Despite it is still the same, note it is asking leaving your answer in index form. So your answer needs to be in index form or exponent form or something like that as how it may be expressed there. Okay? So let's try a few more examples. 2. You have 4 to the third power raised to the seventh power. This means you keep the base and you multiply their powers giving us 4 to the 21st. See that? 3 times 7, 21. 3. We have x to the 5th, the 2nd power. We keep the base, which is x. We say 5 times 2, which is x to the 10th. Let's go for the next one. 4. x to the 5th, y to the 3rd, c to the 4th. Hmm. Is this complicated? No, let me expand so we can zoom into this particular problem here. You can see it much better. All right, you can see this problem here much better. Now, according to the rule, it says that if a base is to a power raised to a next power, we keep the base, right, and we multiply the powers. Well, for this one here, imagine this. Imagine you only have x to the fifth raised to the fourth power. That would mean x to the fifth times four, and then imagine now it's only y to the third to the fourth power which is y to the third times four now it's, imagine it's only the z z to the first which is understood to be the first times fourth so we get that part there okay Let me zoom in a little bit so everything can fit on the screen so that's what we do the next step now we put x 20 y 12 z4 that's it for that one there four let's try our next example our next example is as follows so pay keen attention to this one here because this is a fraction 4 m to the third over 3 n to the second and this is being raised to the fifth power hmm is this complicated no we're going to follow the same rule as how we did just a while ago with this one here. Imagine one, each one of them by themselves. So imagine the 4 now to the 5th power. The power of the 4 is to the 1st. So we put 4 to the 1st times 5. And the m by itself, we put m to the 3rd times 5 because we are applying the same rule. Over, imagine the bottom one now. Keep the bottom with the bottom, the top with the top. So it's 3 to the 1st times 5. And n to the second here times 5. The next step now that follows, except fa now that follows is 4, 1 times 5, 5, m, 3 times 5, 15 over 3 to the fifth, and n to the 10th power. And that would be our solution. But since they said in exponent form, this is acceptable. And if you were to expand 4 to the 5th, this can give us as a solution to be 1024m to the 15th over um, 243n to the 10th power. It is still to the exponent. Okay, so this is acceptable because you have still have it in exponent. And these are all positive exponents as you can see.